A cylinder of paramagnetic material with the same dimensions as in the previous problem has a volume susceptibility of uh, 2 times 10 to minus 6 in SI. What is its magnetic moment and magnetization in an applied field of 1.2 Tesla? Now, <clears throat> the volume susceptibility, chi, is the ratio of magnetization to the magnetizing field H. So it's a measure of how much uh, magnetization we can obtain for a given magnetizing field. So we have magnetization is equal to volume susceptibility times H. At the same time, we have the constitutive relation between B, M and H. B is equal to mu zero M plus H. This is in SI units. So, uh, Therefore, we can substitute for B mu zero times a volume susceptibility times H plus H. Therefore, we find that B is equal to mu zero volume susceptibility plus one times H. So if you want to calculate a magnetic magnetizing field H, this is equal to B divided by mu zero, one plus volume susceptibility. So if I substitute the numbers here, I obtain 1.2 Tesla divided by four pi 10 to minus seven Henry per meter, uh, one plus two 10 to minus six. As you can see, two 10 to minus six is rather small, so we can neglect it. So this will be approximately equal to 9.5 5 times 10 to 5 ampere per meter and we can obtain the magnetization by multiplying the magnetizing field with the volume susceptibility it is 2 10 to minus 6 multiplied by 9.55 10 to 5 and therefore we obtain a magnetization of roughly 1.91 ampere per meter. Now, in order to obtain the magnetic moment, uh, I have to multiply the magnetization with the volume. And if you remember, this is a cylinder, so we have pi r square radius square times the height. And uh, it's the, the same parameters given in the previous problem. Uh, six centimeters long, 1.25 centimeters in diameter. So I note that uh, from the previous problem, H is uh, six centimeters and radius is 1.25 divided by two centimeters. So if we substitute this here, 1.91 ampere per meter, times pi times r squared 1.25 over 2 squared uh, and since we're using si units we need to convert the centimeters to meters so it's 10 to minus 4 centimeter uh, meter square times 6 centimeters which is 6 10 to minus 2 meters and this gives us a total magnetic moment of 1.4 times 10 to minus 5 ampere meter square. Since we worked in SI units, this will be the total magnetic moment of this paramagnetic uh, cylinder. So the, the thing to note here is that these numbers are very small compared to the uh, previous problem where I had a ferromagnet, the magnetization was 1012.2 EMU per centimeter cube. So that is 1.012 uh, 1 10 to 6 ampere per meter. So it's quite large. Um, so, but there I have solved it in CGS units. Um, and that's, this comes from the fact that the volume susceptibility is very small for a paramagnetic material. So I have used the definition of the volume susceptibility magnetization divided by the magnetic field H and the constitutive relation B is equal to mu zero M plus H. These are all in SI. 
and uh, I have obtained H in ampere per meter, magnetization in ampere per meter, and uh, the total magnetic moment in ampere meter square uh, by multiplying the magnetization with the volume, being careful with the units since I'm using SI, H and R were converted to meters.